Hi, my name is Amy and I am the owner of the original Brighter Hanger and more. Um, I actually am going to just give you a little quick show on how I paint a flower on top of a bridal hanger. Now again, I do offer a variety of styles, engraved, not engraved, wire, no wire, just a variety. And uh, basically what I'm trying to do at this point is just show little quick little videos so that you become familiar with my business. So I'm going to get started. Tonight I'm going to paint a, uh, it's a berry wine folk art enamel paint. I'm going to do a berry wine rose at the top of this hanger. As you can see, it's a bride hanger with the bride and groom's name engraved on the arm and their wedding date is engraved on the opposite arm. Now to start off with, this is just going to be a simple simple rose pattern and I am using folk art enamels you can do yours with any color that you want for this style of hanger I do a lot of this burgundy rose uh, with with white paint One thing fun about painting on a hanger is the fact that you can actually pick the hanger up and turn it just like the glassware that I paint. Painting on something that's that's actually stationary and not movable can be a challenge at times if you're not able to do a pattern and, and if you're not actually good at staying in one place and doing a pattern much easier when you can actually turn the item and keep creating your, your design. Alright, so I like to do two layers of this roughly kind of pattern when I'm doing my roses. And I pretty much do the same style rose on each, each of these hangers. And of course, with hand painting, no two are going to be identical because they are hand painted. And then I put the center of my rose, typically like right here. And I like to just kind of add some layers to it. And then I'll go back around, add another just little quick ruffly layer around it. There are a variety of designs of roses that can be made, but again, this is just a quick one I do on this hanger. One thing about painting on the hanger is there's not a lot of space, so sometimes it can be difficult you know, to really do as good of a pattern as you typically might on, on a larger area. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go into uh, adding just a couple petals. And I have to be honest with you, I, I really like to use Thicket, the color Thicket, for my leaves. But uh, unfortunately, there was an issue with getting, getting that color delivered to me. So I'm pretty much kind of making my own, mixing my own color. And I'm trying to keep this on so you can see it here. And as many of you know, if you follow any of my videos, I kind of do one stroke kind of technique, but it's really, at this point, it has become my own, you know, you kind of get into when you paint a lot, kind of create your own style. It just depends on what I'm painting too as far as the style that it ends up being like. I'm 
like I say, a lot of times when I'm painting, you know, make it your own. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I, again, I'm just doing this video just to bring awareness to my business. It's really not, the intent is not actually to show you how to paint a rose. I'm just showing you that I, I offer this type of design on my hangers. I can do other, other flowers too, not just the rose. And I also do this type of a pattern on the, it's called a, my shabby chic hanger, which is a brown hanger that's crackled with ivory paint over the top of it. And then I do the, the rose pattern, which then it's very kind of a shabby chic look. You know, very kind of elegant and, and just cute. People tend to like it. And again, this can be done even if you don't want to have a hanger engraved. It's pretty just without even having any engraving on it. And here you go. You have a cute, just a really cute, quick hanger. And the wedding dress will look gorgeous on it. All right, so there you are. I appreciate you stopping by. Let me know if you have any questions and you know, stay tuned for more videos to come. Have a good evening.